boop a doop a doop boop 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 You're watching FemVids, I'm Sean Rolls, and today we're looking at the seven pillars of human security. Now when we look at peace and states of peace, we shouldn't just look at the absence of conflict, but look more at the root causes of what might be conflict or what has been conflict to truly identify what peace means to people, thus look for a way forward to achieving that peace. Therein enters the seven pillars of peace and security, namely food, health, environment, personal, community, and political security. Not forgetting economic security, which plays a big factor in a lot of developing countries' conflict situations. So say for example, when I'm talking about economic security and addressing conflict through examining economic security, I said it was one of the biggest. And to be honest, let's take a closer look at that. It could be the fact that people don't have enough jobs, therefore can't make enough money to make ends meet. At the same time, the cost of living is so high that even those with jobs can barely afford anything. This is bound to rile up some people, and unless you take into account how people are feeling about that particular area, and you address it, you're not going to be preventing conflict. You're going to just let conflict happen. So looking at the pillars is all about understanding the root causes of conflicts. You can't address something unless you fully understand it, so the seven pillars are kind of a guideline or basic way of mapping what people need and what people don't have access to. If you have any questions or something to contribute, leave them in the comments here on YouTube or on the Femlink or Fembits Facebook page. Thanks so much. I've been Sean Rolls, and see you next time. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you for watching a fan vid.